Well, Sage, uh, so many new faces back there in the secondary this year. How is it coming together? You feel like you guys have improved a lot since the spring? Yes, sir. Um, we're really growing as a group together. And uh, we're getting better each and every practice. And I feel like we're becoming a brotherhood each and every day. Coach House was in here the other day and talked about how fierce this conference is. And we're going to need two safeties, you know, or we're going to need a guy at each position and whatnot. So how are you and Major Burns kind of playing off each other and working together back there? Uh, we're actually working together real well. Um, we're communicating back there in the secondary, which is really important. Um, we're getting, we're really getting better, like as a whole, as a whole secondary each and every day, uh, and it's just great working with those guys. Yes, sir. The, the coaches all compliment Major as a great communicator. Do you see that out there in terms of the way he gets everyone lined up and gets the message out? Yes, sir. He's definitely commander of the secondary. Uh, he's the vocal leader, and uh, we just. We, we play off of him. His energy, his effort, his communication is just great. What does that mean to you as a younger DB to have someone who's a veteran with more experience to go ahead and communicate things that might not be so clear? Uh, that's great. Uh, it definitely helps me with my game. Um, you know, just, just to be back there with him, a great communicator, just makes me play even harder and I can play faster. Um, yeah, that's it. A lot of young talent surging through the LSU defense. You got Mason Smith, Harold Perkins, and yourself. What do you say about the you know the young, new young transition into LSU defense? They're doing great, way better than I was doing when I was that 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 age. Uh, they're definitely picking it up like fast. Uh, they're doing a great job. Those young guys and they're they're going to be great. They're going to be great young players for us this year. When you come in as a five-star guy. That kind of a blessing, and I won't say a curse, but maybe you're not allowed to mature or get to know things as you know, slowly as you'd like because you come in with this reputation and stuff. For well, it's a, it's a lot of pressure, but it's also good for it's it's good to come in that highly rated because you you have so much expect like expected from you, so it makes you work even harder. Um, and it, it's just great, you know, just coming in that young that I can learn from other guys and you know play off of them and just just be that that guy that everybody you know expected you to be are you starting to see some of the sacrifice or maybe the growing pains you guys had to have under coach Kelly and the new staff for the big change are you starting to see okay now I'm getting it now I understand what he's was getting at mm -hmm. yes sir yes it's, it's definitely you know unfolding uh, it's getting it's getting very easy to comprehend uh, just everything it feels like a smooth like a smooth slate you know with the new guys the new coaches they're they're coaching us up great uh, and it's just it's just been a, a smooth a smooth yeah smooth process what would you think made that process so smooth what did the coaches do that made it transition so easy they just they made it they made it so much easier on us um, you know but learning the playbook is also it helps too but them as coaches just coaching us up seeing what we're doing wrong or what we're doing right and you know we just fall back from what they're what they're saying yes sir on the offensive side uh freshman mason taylor tight end mm. what do you what have you seen on this guy in terms of like his size and he's still able to move the way he does yeah he he is he is dominant he's a dominant force uh he's definitely you know above average for his 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 great, like his class, he's a freshman. Um, he's just great, you know, great young guy. He's going to put up a lot of points for us. Yeah, he's going to be great. What, what have you learned from the more experienced uh, players in the secondary, like uh, Jay Ward and uh, Greg, Greg Brooks Jr. over the offseason? Mm. Uh, what, what have you learned from them? Just, just to be a, a better communicator, a better leader in general. Um, just to play fast, you know, and they helped me with my playbook, those guys, because you know, I'm a young guy coming in, so for, for those veteran guys to be, you know, on me about my playbook, you know, getting it down packed, that, that just means the world to me, that I can, you know, yeah. Jay Ward, is he kind of a jokester? Keeps it light? Yeah, he, he is, he, but when it's go time, it's go time, as, as you know, uh, but we clown around, you know, we, 
fuss and fight about little random things, but it's a brotherhood. You know, at the end of the day, we the offense is on us. We're trying to make the offense better. So we, it, it plays off each other really well. So the, the old saying, iron sharpens iron. You're going up against these wide receivers mm -hmm. every day, and maybe sometimes you, they get the best of you or vice versa. But mm -hmm. do you feel like, hey, these guys are getting us ready for the, for the season? Yes, sir. They're definitely getting us ready. We have... We have the best wide receiver core in the nation, to me. So knowing that, going into a game, you don't really have to worry because we're already going against the best guys each and every day. So that, that's helpful to us. Yes, sir. Your high school, a lot of pride there, huh? Yes, sir. We have a lot of LCA, LCA guys over here right now. We have like five, five student athletes from LCA. So, I mean, Did you win four state titles or three? How many did you win? Four. Four back to back. Well, every year you were there. You were. Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. What could you take away from the fall camp that you think the team will use to against your game against Florida State? Um. Well, I had a I had a pretty good fall camp. Uh, coming in, I was one of the young guys, but as, as fall camp, you know, as fall camp continued on, I got better each and every day. I started stacking up my days. Um, just you know, just the little thing. I focused on the little things, and that that really separated my game. Yes, sir. As a multiple-time state champion, you're familiar with playing in the Superdome. How's it going to feel to return, be under the lights again? You're going to feel that, that feeling again? Yeah, it, it's definitely amazing under those lights. It's, it's no other feeling than being in the super, uh, the Caesar Superdome. Um, I'm I'm ready. I'm pumped. I'm ready to play. So, yeah. Does camp kind of go through some? Progressions like when you first show up, everyone's excited, and then maybe like two or three weeks in, you're like, kind of uh, mm -hmm. hitting the wall. Yeah. And now, now you can see the game coming, and now the excitement is. Yes, sir. Doing. Well, for us, uh, I mean, we started off really fast during fall camp, uh, but you know, as you said, we didn't we didn't really get into a slump though. It was just we were stacking up the days, offense and defense actually. So it was a pretty it was a pretty well-rounded fall camp on all all cylinders. Yes. Sir. <laughs> Just one more. All these new faces that got thrown in from Seven to Jarrett to the two guys from Arkansas and all that. Did you feel like in, in the spring everyone was kind of working on the chemistry and, and now that the chemistry is there? Yeah. You got your communication and all that? Yeah. Um, they, they definitely are great leader, great vocal leaders. Uh, so we all just play off each other. Uh, they're new guys, but we adapted. It's, it's like a brotherhood now. We all know each other. So it's not like when they first came in the spring was kind of, you know, but now we're playing off each other, playing fast, playing, do we're dominating right now. Yes, sir. Uh, what's uh, Greg Brooks like on the field and in the locker rooms? Uh, he's a very great player on the field, but he's also an amazing, you know, person off the field. So I'm just learning from him right now, um, and it's been great. He's a, he's a great guy. Yes, sir.